markets are trading. Simon Michel joins us now live from Fig Securities. Simon, hello to you. Um, certainly markets positioning themselves not only um, ahead of U.S. Fed Chair Janet Yellen's speech uh, this evening in the U.S., but also um, as we have emerging commentary of increasingly commentary surrounding um, that U.S. Fed possible move even in March. Absolutely. Good afternoon, Natalie. And uh, yeah, we've certainly seen the odds of uh, increase in March, uh, which would be on the back of the March 15 meeting of the US Fed. Increase around 90% chance of an increase there. Um, that's on the back of those very low jobless uh, uh, rates that we had, uh, jobless numbers we had released overnight as well. They pushed that up. And I think, uh, as you mentioned there, uh, Janet Yellen speaking Friday US time. Uh, and look, we expect her commentary to pretty much match what we're seeing from a lot of the deputy chairs and uh, other uh, members of the Fed and likely possible lock in that additional 10% and make it a dead cert, I would imagine. So talk us through um, how investors are positioning themselves. Certainly, if we look at some of the bond deals of late, there's been that suggestion coming through from bond traders, at least, that equity markets have gone a little bit too far and a little bit too fast for their liking. Well, yes, we've certainly seen that rally uh, in equity markets. I think you're definitely seeing a bit of profit taking. We haven't seen that real surge in uh, bond yields, I must admit. Um, we've seen a bit of a reflection in the short end of the U.S. curve, but you're not seeing a, a major major move out in the longer end of the curve. So, you know, while you're seeing the markets prepare for a March increase, they're not really adjusting their long-term view on uh, upward movements in, uh, in rates. I think that it'll be very positive for the RBA. Uh, they'll be very happy to see uh, a US move upward and take the pressure off uh, their uh, yields and uh, obviously the Aussie dollar as well. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I think definitely getting ready for March tightening, but not really adjusting long-term views at this point. We're also seeing very much that that search for yield taking place domestically also if we take a look um, at the Aussie bank hybrids also. Just give us a bit of colour around what you're seeing here. Absolutely. Well, I spoke yesterday about um, the narrowing of the um, credit spreads or risk premium on bonds, which reflects people happy to invest in riskier issuers. Um, and I also mentioned that we had the Macquarie Bank issue a US dollar tier one hybrid security. It was paying 6.12%, uh, 750 million US dollars they issued, but they had bids on that issue of over $11 billion, which is just phenomenal. Um, we've had uh, quite a bit of rally in those securities and uh, an ANZ T1 hybrid that was issued uh, middle of last year in US dollars as well. And it just reflects this view that investors are feeling comfortable. They're happy to do a search for yield and lock into some higher yielding uh, opportunities. And that's uh, obviously the banks are benefiting from that on the issuance of their T1 uh, stock. Simon, Michelle, many thanks for the update. Thanks, Natalie. Have a good day.